Hey, what's up guys and welcome back. My name again is T-Farts and today we're going to be talking about Camtasia 9. Yeah, if you didn't know, uh, Camtasia has a brand new version. I actually just found out about it today. And I am on Camtasia quite regularly, so I'm assuming this update just came out this morning or last night. Okay, so um, some of you might be surprised about Camtasia 9. Um, actually, I'm not personally surprised. I knew this uh, was coming down the pike. Uh, the reason I say that is because I actually had a meeting with uh, TechSmith and them a little while back with some of the people involved in Camtasia there. And um, one of the, you know, we were just going backwards and forwards about some of the things I liked about it, some things... I didn't really use and one of the things I actually told them that I always was impressed with with Camtasia was the fact that it ran on older and lower powered computers. Now the reason I say that is because I actually have a XP computer here somewhere that I actually put Camtasia 8 on and it actually worked. The same with a Vista computer that I used to have, don't have that anymore. I'm sort of keeping the XP really just as a novelty but still um, well, I had a Windows 98 for years, so it's really not that odd, right, but to have an XP still, I guess. Eh? Maybe I'm just old-fashioned, I don't know. Anyway, I digress. So, um, yeah, so that's one of the things I actually told them about Camtasia that I loved, is that it worked in 32-bit software, obviously, that it was, and it worked on 32-bit uh, systems. And um, that's one thing I always thought was cool, because a lot of the other more powerful software actually couldn't do that. You actually had to uh, get a quite a beefy computer. For instance, if you take a look at um, HitFilm uh, Plus Pro, right, or HitFilm Pro 4, you actually need a graphics card. You need a GPU to be able to work that software, and you do need a minimum i5 processor. Now, with Camtasia 9, uh, they completely moved away from the 32-bit, and I'm assuming that they're going to do with 8, that they did with 7, in other words, they're not going to be promoting it, they're not going to be selling it, and um, they, they also won't be doing updates on it, so I can only assume, I don't really know, but that means that Camtasia right now has moved away from the 32-bit um, systems completely. Now, that has me a, a little bit boggled as to why they would do that, but um, I understand that if you had 8, you can always have 8 still, right? But if you want to buy 8 now, that's not going to be possible. The good news, however, is that if you go and buy um, Camtasia now, if you go look over here on their actual screen, let me just drag this over here. All right, uh, you'll see the new Camtasias here, learn more, blah, blah, blah. Okay, buy now. Okay, just click that. And it says here, the price on this is now $199. Now, if you want to upgrade from Camtasia 8 to Camtasia 9, it costs $100, which means you get a 50% discount on the new version. But this has me personally, uh, I'm not saying complex or confused. I mean, I get it, right? Software updates to a new version. You get to go and buy the new version with a lesser price because you had the old version. I get that. Hitform and them do this all the time, so I don't have anything uh, against them at all here. But I am wondering though, because um, I still I still see a lot of my links because I actually have a, a shortened link so I can track where people go with that link, right? And I know people have been purchasing uh, uh, the um, Camtasia 8 version up to just a couple days ago, right? So, I mean, how surprised are they going to be now to find out that, okay, well, you just bought 8. And if you want nine now, you're going to have to pay another hundred bucks. That means that those people, myself included, really, is um, that paid three hundred dollars for Camtasia eight. Now I have to pay another hundred dollars for Camtasia nine, so that's four hundred dollars. And the new version is only one hundred and ninety-nine. And so, I don't know how how do you guys feel about that? Having to pay a hundred dollars for a completely new version of um, Camtasia nine. Or is that is that okay? I mean, you guys cool with that? I mean, I don't think it's a bad thing. And then, of course, if you look at uh, what Camtasia 9 is now compared to what Camtasia 8 was, it is a completely new thing uh, in that if you look over here at um, full system requirements, you'll see now it says uh, minimum Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, 
and it requires a 64-bit version operating system, right? So it no longer works on the 32-bit systems. Like I said, they, they've left the older computers behind, right? But if you think about that, I mean, can you still buy a 32-bit computer if you were to go to a store today? I mean, I think the, the minimum um, processor you'd be purchasing would be an i5. I know the i3 is out there, um, but I certainly don't know anybody who's going to go shop for a 2 gigahertz processor today. I mean, would you, I mean, if you're into making videos or online marketing, you're going to need a beefy computer to begin with. Unless, of course, you want to sit all day waiting for screens to load and things to happen, right? So you're going to need a reasonable computer to begin with, right? So there's that. I mean, is Camtasia just moving along with the times here? Am I just maybe old-fashioned? It's kind of, well, you know, my low-budget thinking, I guess. It's always been if you have a computer, it's old. Oh, it's really great because you can put Camtasia 8 on there and it will work. And you can edit videos. That's really cool, you know? You can do things with that. And that was something I really liked about video, uh, Camtasia 8 is that it had that functionality. I could put on my older computers and it would work. And of course now um, I've actually moved on to uh, more complex uh, softwares. I am actually using HitForm Pro 4. Um, so therefore what I did is I actually upgraded my computer completely. I um, have a i5 processor. Um, I have a 960 uh, video card, a GTX 960 video card from NVIDIA. Um, in order to be able to use HitForm. And of course, now I see that basically Camtasia here is actually offering a system that will work on my new upgraded computer. So that's good for me. But I mean, what about everybody else? How do you feel about uh, Camtasia basically leaving some of you guys out there who have slower computers, basically leaving you out and telling you, look, well, if you have Windows, um, sorry, I keep saying Windows. If you have, keep, uh, if you have Camtasia, Eight, you know, keep it. We're not going to upgrade it, probably. Right? Then probably not going to have any more updates for Camtasia Eight. They will now be concentrating only on Camtasia Nine, right? So you can still use your software and do what you always did, right? Or you can pay that hundred bucks, but you might also have to go buy a new computer. So there is all of that to consider. But okay, so how do you guys feel about this? I mean, I looked at. Camtasia 9, uh, they have a trial version, and I will add a link, guys, in the description below where you can actually go and check it out. If you want to upgrade to Camtasia 9, remember, you need to have a 64-bit operating system. You need to have at least, uh, I would say, an i5 processor, right, or um, equivalent, so that would be, what, 3.2 to 3.3 gigahertz at least. Um, I would recommend that you at least have 8 gigabytes of um, RAM, that you have more than 2 gigabytes available for um, actual the software itself. So it's quite a beefy piece of software now. And um, obviously, if you have a GPU, you know, it's going to be a lot better for you as well, right? So, you know, go and check it out, man. I'll, I'll put a link there. You guys go check it out. Go and get the trial version free for 30 days, right? Play with it. See what you guys think. And then let me know, man. Put a comment down there. Are you guys going to upgrade? Are you upset that you have to pay $100? In other words, half the price of the original price, which is $199 now for Camtasia 9. You have to pay half of that to upgrade, and you don't you don't get a, a, um, a maybe a even more reduced from going from eight to nine. You guys um, who have older computers out there, how do you feel that Camtasia has basically left you guys behind now? I mean, um, you guys will not be able to. If anybody new wants to have Camtasia eight now, I don't think they'll be able to purchase it. I looked on the store; it's not there. Okay, you can only purchase nine now. Eight is done with. In other words, they don't sell it anymore you, if you have it what you do you know but how do you feel about it man that's what i want to know so use the comments guys uh, check in the uh, more in the little description below the video here on youtube and you'll see uh, i've got a link there where you can go and check out camtasia and go download the trial version okay uh, do that it's free and then see if it works on your computer and then report back guys are you guys having any problems with it is it running smooth on your computers let us know what operating systems you guys have out there, what kind of CPUs, uh, how much RAM you have, and uh, also, um, you know, do you have graphic cards and which ones? Right? Are you be able to run the trial version? No problem. No, oh, by the way, just before I do go, the really cool thing here, and it's something that has me a little concerned, is that um, Camtasia 9 can render in 4K. In other words, you can make 4K videos, which is really interesting. And the only thing is I'm wondering whether my system that I have right now will actually be able to do it. 
because I've tried to make 4K videos on Headphone Pro and my computer just takes forever to render a video because, you know, only 8 gigabytes of RAM, right? Mm. So anyway, so is that going to be something that TechSmith is going to be looking at? Is this stuff going to work? Guys, go check it out. Get the link below. Click on that. Get the trial version. Uh, play with it and then report back and let me know how it's going for you all, okay? And do remember, tell me how you guys feel about having to pay 100 bucks. Seeing as you just paid 300 bucks, now you have to pay another 100 bucks. So a total of $400 to upgrade from 8 to 9, right? Well, not $400 to upgrade. You know what I mean, right? I mean, you $400 out of pocket, essentially. But if you're like me, you would have had Camtasia 8 for a long time. So I don't know. Let me know what you think, okay? Steve out.